Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you can't tell, I got about two hours of sleep last night, if that. It might be two and a half, one and a half, something like that. I wasn't really keeping track. But yeah, I did not get a lot of sleep last night is what I'm trying to say. And I'll tell you why. Uh, first, I should say that I posted a postpartum video about one or two weeks ago, maybe two at this point. Anyways, I posted that and I had mentioned in the video that I was getting better with my anxiety. I wasn't having panic attacks anymore. I was able to go out and do things and everything. But last night I had a, I guess you could say a bit of a setback because I had another panic attack. And I kind of just woke up and had it at about 1.30 this morning, and I didn't go back to sleep <laughs> from there. And I don't know exactly where it stemmed from. I, I think it could be maybe because I've been sick the past few days, and I just haven't been feeling myself. And... I just, it just caught up to me, I guess, sleepless nights because I can't breathe through my nose and stuff like that. Luckily, my cold itself is getting better, but now I'm dealing with this post-attack anxiety, which is honestly the worst feeling other than the actual panic attack. And... Honestly, I just wanted to film this and talk about it a little bit because it helps me to talk about it and like I want to be able to be there for someone else who might be going through the same thing. So if you are, like please let me know in the comments and we can talk about it and kind of just go on this journey to recovery together because I know exactly what it's like. I'm Today I'm just dealing with, like I said, the post-attack uh, anxiety, and it's like I'm super on edge, and I feel like I could have another attack at any minute. So I'm just kind of trying to distract myself, and uh, I'm hanging out with my son, Caleb. He's my little four-month-old son, if you don't know who I am, and uh, I also have a toddler, a 18-month, she's almost 19 months old, daughter named Noelle, and I actually was able to get some help today, my husband's stepmom picked her up today to hang with her for the day, so that gave me a bit of a break because I'm, you know, just trying to recover it take it easy today so I just have the baby today and uh, my dad actually well I had my husband with me but for some reason I really wanted to call my mom I knew my husband had to go into work early this morning so I called my mom at 1 30 in the morning luckily she was awake and she picked up and she said that my dad could come over so he came over he got there around 2 and my husband left about an hour later to go to work. So I had my dad with me, which was super helpful. I would not have been able to be at the house by myself when I was like that. It was just so bad. But yeah, I had my dad. He left. He stayed the rest of the night, and he left at about 11 a.m. this morning. So I'm here now by myself. But I'm doing okay. I'm hanging in there just... Um, this constant anxiety that I'm dealing with right now, but I don't think I'm going to have another panic attack at this point. Um, I really hope I don't tonight because that's when I usually get them is like evening, nighttime when I'm like ready to go to bed for the night. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I just wanted to post this really quick one take update thing just to... Um, talk about it a little bit and 
uh, see if anybody else is going through this as well. And yeah, that's about it. So I should probably go. Now I'm going to try to get Caleb down for a nap soon. I'm going to feed him and put him down so that I can hopefully, fingers crossed, take him out myself. Because that might make me feel better. But honestly, when I'm this anxious, I don't sleep very well. So uh, we'll just see how this goes. But yeah, I hope you all are having a fantastic day. And um, yeah, I hope to hear from you in the comments. Bye, guys.